Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and give you some law of assumption based manifestation advice. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick from my law of assumption card deck thing that I made, which has law of assumption based affirmations. So yeah, let's just go ahead and see, you know, what you can be affirming right now for you to manifest your desires. Um, this could be pertaining to love, career, money, it really depends on the cards. Um, I do have some like money specific ones. Okay, so that's something I've always been really, really good at manifesting. So I feel like I'm really qualified to like give advice on that. So I, I definitely um, We'll pick a couple of like money affirmations for this video. Yeah, but um, let's go ahead and start off with the first affirmation. The first one is I know my worth. Okay, but what is your worth? Like, what are you worthy of? You know, take some time to like write down the things that you want. Um, take down, you know, just take some time to like figure out like what truly fulfills you. And, you know, th that that's going to be like your worth. Like, you know, I'm worthy of commitment. I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of being spoiled. I'm worthy of being treated right. I'm worthy of, you know, um, a job that pays me like six figures. I'm worthy of, wow, I literally, okay, wow. Speaking of job, I literally just got a LinkedIn request. Um, what a coincidence. Yeah, but you know, like I know my worth, okay? When you find yourself in situations that are, you know, triggering or like you're just like, wow, like I deserve much better than this. You can reclaim your power by saying, I know my worth. And, you know, like for a lot of you, I know you're manifesting SPs and maybe they're not really where you want them to be right now. Um, something that really helps is just saying like, okay, you know what, this is a false reality, false 3D. Um, anything that's not my full manifestation is the bridge of incidents. So you can reclaim your power by saying like, I know my worth and they're going to reflect back to me like my high self concept, my new worth. Okay. Because I know in the past, you know, we've all kind of like settled for the most part. Like, you know, we've all been in situations that were definitely, you know, like, beneath us in certain ways okay that, that's probably the reason why you're here you're tired of settling you're tired of like you know manifesting like the lesser versions of things experiences people so yeah you know this all ties down to you knowing your worth because a lot of you it's like you are very high worthy high value all of that you know um and you do deserve the best but it's just like you kind of like me personally like you know i used to be a pushover like i there were certain things that you know were a little bit beneath me and i'm not saying that to like you know sound like conceited but like and i'm not saying anyone was beneath me it's just that version of themselves or like that experience was a little bit beneath me and i know a lot of you can relate to that so if you don't ever want to go through that again you know just saying i know my worth i'm worthy of good things i'm worthy of happiness i'm worthy of abundance i'm worthy of being treated right you guys there are certain people like you know not, not to like bring age into this, but like their 50s and 60s, you know, that are in like really bad relationships and are just settling just because they don't know their worth or like they don't know how to like, you know, change their reality. And I know for a lot of you, you know, I like looked at the YouTube stats, you know, I, I see a lot of like young adults, you know, watching my content. And I, I know a lot of you, you know, you could have had like, questionable experiences you know dating experiences or just like experiences in general in the past and maybe like you know you're you're looking for that right person that right soulmate that right partner like you're lucky that you found this when you did okay and honestly at any age but like for a lot of you it's like you know if you're like not married yet you know you're not like dating yet um you haven't like fully committed to someone yet like you're in like the best place because you know what not to settle for you know that, you know, self-concept goes a long way and that you have full control over your reality. And, you know, if you were to just do self-concept every day or most days, you will never be in an undesirable situation, you know, especially when it comes to love. I've seen a lot of like, you know, you know, couples that, you know, on social media, it seems like they're having, you know, the time of their life. But it's like I, you know, I, I see them in person and it's just like it can be a little bit deceitful. So um, my point is, like, you know, don't be deterred. This is just like I'm kind of just giving advice, like dating advice in general, I feel like, or like just advice kind of uh, from like all streams of life. Like, of course, I give like spiritual advice, but also just like, you know, logical, like real life advice. You know, don't be deterred by other people's lives. Don't compare yourself to other people's, you know, lives, especially like, you know, whatever you see on social media, because, you um, you know, like to each their own. I'm not even bashing anyone. But my point is like, you know, if you feel like you're a little bit behind in any aspect, whether that be love, career, um, first of all, you're not. Everyone's on their own journey. Everyone's on their own path. OK, um, what truly matters is that, you know, you you stay true to yourself. You, you know, like you realize that 
everything that's happening is leading you to your end goal. Okay, like even like seeing certain posts on social media. And I'm talking about this because like the last couple of calls that I've had with clients, you know, they were saying things like, okay, I want this relationship. I want, you know, I want to be with my SP. You know, I want to like be in a relationship. I want to be a girlfriend. I want to be a boyfriend. I want that partnership. But it's like, you know, they would get annoyed seeing like, you know, couples and stuff. And it's like, I completely understand. That is so valid. Even like when I was, you know, um, single, like sad, lonely, you know, like in a bad relationship, like in the past, you know, even though I wanted a good relationship, I would like see these happy couples and be like, oh my gosh, like I'm happy for you. But like, do I really need to see this right now when I'm not in like the best mood? Um, so there's a couple of things you can do. One thing you can do is just say like, okay, well, this is just a sign that I'm next, that I'm also going to be in a happy partnership. The other thing is um, you, you can like literally dictate what you see in your reality and what you don't. It's okay to not want to see happy couples when you're, you know, in the process of manifesting a relationship and you're feeling a little bit down and still like know that you can have a good relationship. So it's like if you don't see couples or anything, that doesn't mean like, you know, you're not going to get that thing that you want. Same with like money. It's like, you know, I know it can be a little bit like dejecting for some people to like, you know, see everyone else around them, like, you know, living a good life, being financially stable, having money, having like, you know, just, yeah, monetary abundance while they don't have that. And it's okay to kind of like, you know, just like change the algorithm, change the algorithm of the universe, fine tune it, tweak it to how you want it to be until you get that thing that you want. Like I used to think like, oh, you know, whatever you're seeing, it's a sign. It's always a sign. If you're seeing this, that this means that you dictate the rules. Okay. With the law of assumption, you make the rules and, you know, do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel good and happy in the moment. Okay. And like nothing's ever going to stop you. The only way that your manifestation like won't come in is if like you completely give up on it. Um, it, it'll still come in if you have doubts, beliefs, it'll still complain, come in if you complain, um, you know, it'll, it'll still come in regardless. It only just like stops coming. It just, I guess like gets delayed or just doesn't come in when you say like, you know what, screw this, I'm done. Okay. And even then it still sometimes comes in. So my point is like, you make the rules, you create the rules, um, you're valid in wanting whatever you want to see. Okay. And Yeah. Uh, sorry, I like digress so much from this affirmation. But yeah, just knowing your worth, knowing that you're worthy of the absolute best trust when I say like, you know, I know for a lot of you, uh, again, like, I, this is just based off of like, what I've been seeing, um, you know, like my the calls with clients. And um, yeah, just even in real life, like sometimes like, you know, the universe saves the best for last. If you're not in a relationship, and all your friends are, or like, you don't have a job, and all your friends have trust when you'll say trust when I say you will manifest like, you know, the biggest abundance, the biggest blessings, you'll be in like the best relationship ever. And it's like, you know, you'll realize like why things happen the way that it did, you'll realize that like, oh, okay, you know, um, I work so much on my self concept, um, you know, creating better assumptions, I've come such a far away, and you'll, you'll feel really, really proud, okay, trust, trust me when I say this, because that's how I felt, you know, when I manifested, like, uh, certain accolades at work, you know, when I manifested, like, my apartment, when I manifested money, SP, like, all of this, um, I was just like, wow, like, you know, the, the biggest thing that I was proud of was my was a change in my mentality, the change in my mindset. And I realized that I was doing this for myself. I was doing this to make me happy It all, you know, stems like down to you. It's all about you. So even for a lot of you, I know, um, you know, you're manifesting SP and you're getting like kind of tired of affirm, affirming for them. So instead of doing that, you know, instead of like seeing it as like, oh, I'm doing this to get my you know, SP back, I'm doing this to get, you know, money see it as you're doing it to make yourself happy you're doing it to give yourself something you want like you know when you like get a job you earn money and then you buy what you want right it's not even about that thing it's about like the pleasure and satisfaction that you'll get right so you're doing it for yourself and there's like nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong in investing in yourself and there's no such thing as investing too much in yourself either or doing too much self-care or anything like that so you know definitely it's about the mindset that you um it's, it's about how you perceive manifesting. It's the mindset that you embody when it comes to manifesting, okay? So, yeah, you know, just, like, trust yourself. Trust your manifestation abilities. Know that it's safe for you to be happy, okay? Um, I will go ahead and pick more cards in a second, but one affirmation that I have really, really been liking is that it's safe for me to be happy. It's safe for me to accept this thing into my life and keep it. It's safe for me to be accepted. It's safe for me to be my full self. It's safe for me to be comfortable. Okay, I remember um, there was one YouTuber on here. I think it was 
honestly, I don't, I don't remember his name, but it, I think he, he was definitely like a, a male YouTuber. He said, I fully accept myself and the entire universe rearranges to give me what I want. So if you find yourself like, you know, comparing yourself to other people, like, you know, circumstances, three Ps, like, you know, in, in whatever way, you have to realize that you are valid the way that you are. You don't have to change anything about yourself to cater to anyone else. You just have to change the way you think and the way that you perceive yourself. At the end of the day, it is all about confidence, okay? But I know for a lot of you, you can feel a little bit dejected, you know, thinking like, oh my gosh, like, why wasn't I chosen in the first place? Realize that you created that. You created that version of that person, of that thing that, you know, didn't choose you. And you can switch that up anytime okay there's no point blaming other people external circumstances there's no point blaming even yourself like don't blame yourself like you know just forgive yourself i like saying like you know what i forgive myself for the past i forgive myself for creating this i forgive this other person um but again it all stems down to self like whenever i feel a little bit triggered about like certain things that happened in my life certain things that i settled for when i didn't know my worth i literally just say i forgive myself okay and then you know i just like say self-confidence affirmations like i'm so confident in myself i always radiate confident uh confidence you know i've always been very confident i fully accept myself the way that i am Okay, I feel like that's like one of the best affirmations. It always makes me feel so good. And I know it'll help you too. So definitely do try that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards. I did want to go ahead and pick some uh, like finance type affirmations. Okay, yeah or like money career affirmations i've been getting like requests to do that so i'll start making more videos about that yeah okay i love this okay i've been saying this affirmation so much or like when i was trying to like you know manifest love into my life i would say this affirmation so much and it works like a charm okay i have given this to like you know a lot of my clients and like a lot of the success stories that i've been getting back those clients have said hey, i've been using this specific affirmation because you know i talk like during our coaching calls like you will like probably hear me give you a lot of affirmations um but you know like the you know, ones that I feel like have really stuck with people and helped uh, or like impressed onto their subconscious mind has has one of the affirmations has been this affirmation that I'm going to read right now. I have always been fully loved, fully valued and fully pursued by who I like. I have always been fully loved, fully valued and fully pursued by who I like works like a charm. I'm not even kidding. Like, just try it for yourself. OK, so this kind of like this one like magical, golden, beautiful affirmation will literally obliterate any circumstance in your way. It will help you take that person off the pedestal, put you back on the pedestal. Because see, when you're fully pursued, that means like, you know, they're going to be official with you. You're going to be married to them or whatever you want, have in mind for them. Okay, I know for a lot of you, you're straight up like, you know, manifesting marriage or you're manifesting a committed relationship. When you're fully pursued, nothing will come in your way. Okay, no three Ps, no circumstances. And three Ps can like be distance, you know, time, their work, their job. You know, it does not necessarily have to be a person. And yeah, when you're fully loved, when you're fully loved, like you will, you know, receive that attention. You will be spoiled. You will receive royalty treatment. You will receive just, you know, everything that you like you've wanted in relationships that's why you know get really clear about what it is that you want that really helps and you know just say like oh i know my worth i've always known my worth yeah um but when you are like fully loved you will feel that way like you will like be so satisfied in your relationship you'll be like wow like i can't you know i mean you you should believe that this person is doing this but you know you'll just feel um like you'll get everything that you want like a lot easier okay because i know for a lot of you and it's okay to do this, okay, because again, you create your own rules, your own assumptions, but a lot of you like manifest for very specific things like, oh, they're doing this for me, they're doing that for me. And like, again, nothing wrong in like writing it down, like even like, you know, uh, putting it in your notes section of your phone and like having it as a visual, okay, to look back at, but, you know, just, just work smart, not hard, okay? If you want to firm all those things, you know, 20 things uh, throughout the day, that's completely fine too, if that works for you. But just saying I'm fully loved, works like a charm because that that just like that encompasses everything that encompasses everything that you've been you know wanting to experience in a relationship because um yeah you know for a lot of you it's like in the past you could have like you know I'm, I'm not even gonna say that i was gonna like list examples of what it's like to not be that uh not you know be fully loved like you know unrequited love all of that but i'm like what's the point of talking about that but just say that doesn't exist you've never experienced unrequited love you've never experienced third parties you've never experiences you've never experienced bad circumstances or negative experiences in general okay um yeah just like if that happened no it didn't no it didn't okay you kind of have to like 
<laughs> this is such weird advice, but like gaslight yourself into thinking like, yeah, no, that never happened. I've, I've actually always been loved. I've always been valued. I'm always going to be valued from here on out. Okay. No point dwelling in the past because that's the past. The past isn't real. The only thing that is real is the present moment. And when you spend time, like, you know, saying this affirmation or just like any like positive affirmations in the present moment, that's, you know, the, the future will reflect that back to you. Everything you're seeing right now is literally just a reflection of your past thoughts, um, your past self-concept, and things will change. Things will expedite. Things will speed up. You know, the more you start um, like consciously creating your future by you know spending more time focusing on the present. So if the, if these past thoughts, if these triggering thoughts come up, definitely you know process them figure out where they're coming from, you know, get down to the root cause of it, but then just get back to affirming. Just be like, okay, well, this thing happened, but not anymore. I'm not going to experience that anymore. I am ready to, you know, be a new person. I'm ready to completely change um, because this that is what manifesting is about, like becoming a whole new person. And when I say becoming a whole new person, I don't mean like changing anything about yourself or changing anything physically about yourself, but just changing your consciousness, changing your awareness of the things that, you know, um, like you want to let in or changing your awareness to the things that you want to experience more of, okay? Like life is literally an algorithm. The more you focus on something, the more of that you will get, okay? So if you're going to keep focusing on the past, you know, you're going to be experiencing more of that. And again, like whatever you're seeing in the present is just like a time delay. It's a time lag. Um, because I have my galaxy... A starlight projector on I wanted to give this uh, example of like the stars that you see in the sky the uh, light from the stars that you're seeing in the sky is from like you know millions or like you know, thousands of years ago it's just now reaching um, your eye it's just now like reaching your awareness but those stars died like you know um, thousands of and thousands or like you know millions of years ago so that's kind of the same thing with your um, present reality if it's not where you want it to be it's just a bridge of incidents. It's just the past playing out. And you have to tell yourself like, oh, it's just purging. Yeah, you know, things are going opposite. It's, it's just purging so I can get that, you know, thing that I want. I can get the exact reality that I want, okay? Yeah, I've always been fully loved, valued, and prioritized. Or I've always been fully loved, valued, and pursued. Whatever works best for you. And same thing with the valued. Like, you know, when you're being valued, like your person will literally move mountains to be with you. They will like, you know, um, fly to be with you like if you live like you know in different states or countries uh they'll value your time they'll be spending a lot of time with you okay so yeah um i feel like this affirmation just like hits everything uh that you want to manifest in a relationship okay i'm going to go ahead and share some money affirmations i like the money affirmations are literally in green and the rest of them are in, like different colors yeah uh okay let's see which ones um I I just really like the affirmation. I always uh, or large sums of money always come to me um, in increasing quantities through multiple sources of income. Okay, I know that's kind of long and convoluted, so you know you can modify that however you want. But I just like yeah, large sums of money are constantly flowing to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources of income. I remember seeing that affirmation during like twenty twenty TikTok times and. I've like I've been financially stable since then. I've earned more money um, in like the past like couple years than I did like my entire life. Of course, you know, because I'm like, in, I've only been in the industry for like four years, but that definitely helped like ramp up sales. It helped, um, you know, ramp up like yeah, just like I was able to like establish like multiple streams of income past the streams of income. Like I always like after saying that affirmation, I would just get new ideas for you know earning money i would get new ideas get like you know ideas for like new streams of income okay i'm, I'm saying the same thing at this point i'm really tired you guys it's a, it's literally 11 43 i woke up from like a five hour nap but i'm just like you know what like i have to i have to make these videos you know I, it's my it's my duty to help spread you know manifestation because it's like as much as i want to help everyone like trust when i say i really wish i could give you know people money and like you know, resources and stuff like that. I just, I, I can't be there for everyone, but I can teach you how to manifest. I can teach you how to think more positively, okay? Teach a man to fish, you know, give a man a fish. He'll come back the next day, but teach a man to fish, you know, he'll be set for life. So that's really one of my, like, you know, motivations for um, coming on here and talking about this stuff because, you know, there have been, like, multiple people that I used to watch and still watch that have completely changed my life. And it's like, I don't even know where I would be if I didn't find out about manifestation, okay? Like, I genuinely saved my life, um, helped me manifest the life that I want. So, yeah, you know, if you're watching this, I'm manifesting that you get all your manifestations. But, yeah, let me go ahead and actually share my money affirmations. Uh, okay, I have, like, so many cards here. I think, like, this is, like, literally, like, 
a hundred index cards. I don't even know how, like, you guys, there's, there's so many affirmations. Okay. Um, just figure out whichever ones, you know, you like the best because like, it's like, I have all these affirmations and like, sometimes I just like picking them. Um, you know, not sometimes like I, at least like most days of the week, like in the morning, I just like pick an affirmation and I'm like, okay, that's what I'm going to focus on for the day. Okay. Um, but it's like, I have these like set affirmations that I always say, and I feel like that's what you should do as well. Like instead of overwhelming yourself with so many affirmations, just stick to a couple of affirmations, two to three affirmations. And there's nothing wrong in saying like, you know, more affirmations. There's nothing wrong in like, you know, scripting. I still script. Like I've been getting more into affirming now, but I still script. I like journaling. I like kind of just like, you know, saying nice things about myself, saying, you know, just pause, speaking out like, you know, positivity into the universe. Um, universe just you know being my subconscious mind that's what I believe in so not you you can't go wrong with affirming too much but if there's like a specific goal that you are trying to like reach or there's like a specific thing that you want then definitely do focus more on those like specific affirmations I feel like that's helped a lot like when I was manifesting a relationship I would focus a lot on like security affirmations and I've been fully love value pursued by who I like and then I would say these other things like oh I'm a goddess I'm magnetic okay just because it felt good to say um so yeah you can't go wrong with doing too many affirmations but definitely have like a couple of affirmations that like you say on repeat on loop like it's like if you don't know what to think about or you're getting like negative thoughts you have to redirect your thoughts to those affirmations. They're not happy. You can do whatever you want, but it's it's worked really well for me. Yeah, okay. I really like this one because this encompasses, like, you know, really everything. I am successful at everything I do, okay? I'm successful at making money. I've always been successful at making money. I've always been successful at work. Work is so easy and fun for me. I'm the best employee wherever I work. I'm an asset wherever I go. People always just want to give me money, okay? Um, yeah, you know, I live in New York, and, like, let me tell you – I have gotten a lot of meals paid for for free without doing anything in return, okay? Like, I was at um, a bar with, like, one of my friends, and um, there's this guy that comes up to us, and he just, like, offers to, like, cover the entire tab, and he doesn't even, like, he's not even, like, hitting on us. Like, he's not expecting to, like, you know, get with us or anything like that. Cause, yeah, I mean, usually like, I would not talk to people, but it's, like, uh, you know, I was, like, with a friend. Like, we were, like, it was, like, three friends. Like, you know, we were in a group, and this like we ordered at least like $120 worth of drinks and like appetizers and this like rich finance bro just comes in like pays for it um and yeah you know I just I I just like saying I'm always spoiled I'm always catered to I'm a queen and goddess and always treated like royalty I literally felt like royalty um at that moment yeah and just you know this has helped with work a lot too I've been you know getting a lot of like bonuses and like raises and like awards that translate to money or that, that I can like redeem for money or cash prize and um yeah I just feel like this is something that, you know, I personally like having on loop. Like, I'm successful at everything I do. Um, it's so easy for me to – I always excel, thrive, and succeed at everything I do. Making money is so easy for me, okay? Um, yeah, but just, like, I think, like, this is a good blanket affirmation. I'm a huge fan of, like, blanket affirmation. So, you know, if you're successful at work, that implies that you'll get money, raises, bonuses, promotions, awards, you know, what have you. So, Yeah. Okay, anyways, this is a this has been a really long video. I was not expecting it to be this long. Sorry, sometimes I ramble a lot and uh, you know, I repeat things, but that is the key to life, you know, repetition. Um, at least that's my assumption. So, yeah, but I really do hope this helps someone. Um, let me know what your affirmations are. Let me know what affirmations work for you. I really like hearing what works for other people. Um, a lot of my clients, you know, come back to me and like tell me like, oh, this affirmation works really well. And whenever they do submit a success story, if they haven't already, I will ask them like, oh, hey, what did you say? You know, what did you do? Like, what did your routine look like? Just so I can like, you know, um, give just so I can like help spread that and help other people manifest as well. But see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Um, at the end of the day, um, you know, people are going to have different ways of manifesting People are going to give advice. Like there, there's tons of affirmations. Okay, they're going to give their own like specialized advice based on like you know what worked for them. At, figure out what works best for you. Okay, if like repetition doesn't work best for you and you just like you know being in a certain state, that's completely fine as well. Okay, I think it's like th there's nothing wrong in um, like. There, there's nothing wrong in not wanting to internalize every single thing that you hear because like there are a lot of things that I hear about manifesting that just make no sense to me like this one thing just I can't believe I internalized it for so long but it was like the stupidest thing ever like no offense like you know I, I, I don't want to like bash anyone else's beliefs but someone literally said that like oh if you're manifesting someone and you imagine the both of you and like from like a third 
person point of view, like you're not like imagining them in the first person, then you'll manifest third party. I'm like, that makes no sense. Like who even came up with that? You know? And I, and like when I got into manifestation, like there were a bunch of like limiting beliefs that I kind of, you know, internalized because I was like, you know, new to it. I'm like, Oh, like, wow, that's, you know, like interesting to hear about. And like, I think like, you know, I would just accept everything I would hear. And I think that's also the biggest thing. Like, don't accept everything you hear, especially if it's not something you don't want to hear, okay? I just really like the affirmation. The 3D always shows me what I want. I always experience what I want, okay? And, like, true freedom begins when you don't accept everything you hear and when you're conscious about what you want to accept, you know, when you have enough, like, self-confidence to only accept the things that serve you and leave behind the things that don't, okay? So even if, you know, certain affirmations in this video, you're just like, yeah, you know, I don't really want to do that. That's too long. Like, that's completely fine. I won't take any offense. This is just what's worked best for me. But one big, one other thing I wanted to, wanted to tell you is to document what does work best for you. I've been getting really good at that. Um, I've just been documenting, like, what affirmations work really well. Like, I'll try out different affirmations every week. Um, it, it really doesn't have to be that complicated, but, like, you know, I just like, playing around with the law I kind of just like seeing what works best for me and like you know, I'm always growing learning it's like you know different things will work for me in different phases of life so um keep testing out the law just you know get to know yourself better this is all about knowing your subconscious mind it's like a journey back to self so yeah anyways I will go ahead and end the reading the video right here I really really hope this helps I do offer manifestation coaching also custom make subliminals and I also do in-depth tarot readings so if you're interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you can sign up for them and yeah um, I will for real, for real end it here. Thank you so much for tuning in.